Not too bad at the moment. But. Everybody, it's your boy, the one and only, right here. And I am downtown Augusta right now. Um, I just had a complete freeze. Uh, what is it? Uh, tropical Storm Idalia. I don't know. I can't pronounce the name properly. But it's hitting. Um, starting to get close and everything. So, uh, be down here. Pretty much just checking out the marina and everything. Seeing how the water levels and everything is. The rain isn't too bad right now. Um, it was pretty crazy a little bit a while ago. But, uh, yeah. So, stay okay. tuned. I'm back. I'm actually about to go inside this... Uh, crazy elevator that we've been in before um you know the one where i went up and then i was going down the stairs and the dude was in the elevator i mean in the uh, stairwell yeah we're about to go up that one again because i get really good photos and footage of the clouds so why am i stupid let's do it No whammies. You know what I should do? I should open that door right there and say, yo. And maybe they'll come walking down. And they'll leave me alone. Going up. Because the one I don't trust is elevator anyways. Don't even look like it's working. Oh gosh, here it comes. Anybody in here? No. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Oh wow. Oh goodness. Yo, it's creaking. <laughs> this thing is like creaking something. <laughs> oh, goodness. I do not want to go down this thing again, but I do not want to deal with that dude in the stairwell if there is a guy in the stairwell. All right, there's nobody over there. Cool. All right, so now I'm up here on the top. Like I said, I can get some really good footage up here. Really good shots of the clouds and almost all of downtown. Oh, there's a random white car up here. Looks like it's coming down out there. Look at that. Over there in like Columbia County, Grove Town, out towards the lake, it is spurting out there. So, I'm gonna go hope and pray that nobody's over here in this stairwell, and uh, we're gonna go down praying. I really don't want to go down this elevator. There's a light on in the stairwell. There's somebody in the stairwell. seen that dude's arm pop around that corner. Probably the same dude that was in there last time. Whew. My heart is running right now. I don't care for this elevator either. So no conflict. So yeah, that's a little crazy. I should have known that there was somebody in the stairwell because the light was on through the door. So my stupidity, I didn't pay attention to it. But it's okay. I didn't have to deal with him today. Thank God. So 
On to the next one. So what's up, everybody? I almost went down hard because of a curb. Yeah, a curb almost took me out. But now I'm going down here to the uh, docks to the river. Actually, the river is actually higher than I thought it would be. It was actually a lot higher than I thought it was. I actually walked up that one day. Not smart, probably. Beware of alligators that live in Brick Pond. So now we're out here on the river. The Savannah River. So now we're going to go down this long path right here. It goes around to the other part. Feels good out here today. It's not as humid as it has been. It's terrible that it took tropical storm to make it humid. I mean, to get it right, but it is what it is. I think there's like a memorial bench down here too. Lightning bugs, fireflies, whatever you want to call it. We'll stop by that one on the way back. Go down here to the bottom one. It's creepy out here at nighttime now. Going down here to the fishing pier. Memorial bench. They got Mickey too. I have spider webs all over me right now. No joke, it feels like somebody's walking on this pier with me. It is so creepy. Like legit, like <laughs> I was fine until I got to this pier and I just don't feel alone here. I wonder if that guy from that bench I passed away right here, because it's a weird feeling right here. You know what? Let's do a little test real quick. Let's do a little testy test. What's the guy's name again? Uh, I don't know, I can't see from here. Well, let my spirit talk real quick. Hello, my name's League. If there's anybody here that'd like to speak with me, you can. You can talk to me through this device right here in my hand. Um, I just know that when I walk down this pier right here, I got the weirdest feeling. Do you know if you're here? Are you here? If you're here, can you tell me your name? Yo, it's the weirdest feeling, man. Wow. And I'm fine right here. But I walk past, literally walk past this wood right here. And it's not like a dock feeling where it's swaying or nothing. It's just heavy. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Okay, that's fine. Can you tell me what your name is? Nurse. Nurse. What's your name? Can you tell me what happened to you? Ginger. Hello, Ginger. And Ginger, what happened here? Why do I feel weird on this dock? We're about to get hit again by another band of this storm. I can't stay here long. It's about to come down again. 
Can you tell me why there's a weird feeling on this? Wow, man. Now I have it in the back of my neck. Like, it feels like somebody just prodded me in the back of the neck. Ginger, why are you here? Can you follow me, Ginger? See if we can get whoever it is to follow me down here to the next one. It's starting to rain a little bit heavier, not as heavy as it was. This is Adrian Clay Robinson. Hello, friend. Hello, Adrian. I like the Mickey Mouse. Can you follow me over here to the pier? Not the pier, but the dock. Or the deck. Ooh, just got a weird smell. Could just be coming from the, 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 the water in the plants. Footsteps. What happened on these docks? Oh wow, this one's even worse. Holy cow, man. It's a weird feeling, dude. It's like popping and cracking. I can't stand on the dock. I just, it doesn't feel safe. Do you want to say anything before I leave? Miller. Miller? What did I just say that guy's name was? Adrian what? His last name wasn't Miller, was it? Last name was Robinson. So I have no clue where Miller came from. Unless they want a beer. All right. I'm about to get hit again, so... Thanks for speaking with me. Is there anything you'd like to say or tell anybody before I leave? Ruth. Hello, Ruth. Why are you out here, Ruth? I just heard somebody close the door. I hear people talking. Okay, there's a car over here. Alright, everybody. Seriously, look at this. I don't really need the umbrella. I have my, I have a jacket. I mean, I have a raincoat on. But it's technically just protecting the phone. Yeah, look, we've got mass flooding right here. Don't really know how bad it is. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll toss a rock real quick. Let's see if I can maybe figure out how. Because water's coming flying out from the dam over there. Some flooding in low lining areas. I'm guessing this bridge is stable. At least I'm hoping this bridge is stable. Never been on it before, so I have no clue, everybody. I really see it flowing now. Okay, there's stuff on the bridge, so obviously people have been down here. So that's a good sign. There's like little minnows and stuff, so obviously people have been on the bridge, so it's not gonna just collapse with me up here.
Is that water down there? Yeah. It's coming in heavy down there. Again, uh, there's a plant right here. I don't know what it's called, prayon or whatever. Uh, and this is all flooded. Look at this. So there's obviously no systems here, and it's high up. So it's more than what they said. It was like five to six inches. That's halfway up a uh, fire hydrant. So you're probably looking at a foot of water right here, maybe more. Got to be easily a foot of water right here. Well, there's apparently there has got to be like no sewage or something out here. Because it is just, it is flooded, flooded. And it's not the only one. Over here is even crazier. Look at this. It just goes some way up there. All around. Just all this is flooded out. Which is insane. This has got to be about a foot of water right here. Easily a foot of water. Wind's coming in. We're actually, it's gonna probably get a little intense, everybody, because we're actually getting really close to the eye of the storm. So it's probably gonna be a little wicked here for a little while. It's normally not that flooded. Normally this water is nowhere near this high. Because you're gonna find me out here at the spots. A lot of people, this right here is, hasn't been, this right here hasn't been paved for that long. This is brand new. But yeah, over here is like remnants of the old fort, the old mill. This whole mill back here caught fire a long time ago and burnt. So most of the stuff out here that you walk on is actually ash. So this used to be part of the old fort. All these were stanchions from the old fort. See how it burnt? It caught fire back in the day. And all this stuff right here is brand new. Not new, but it's been here for a couple years. The water out there and everybody. And welcome to the uh, Granite Company Vaucluse Mill. Um, I was going to go in the gate over here. Because there was like no signs of selling, no trespassing or nothing like that. What? I just saw a sign that said no trespassing, private property. So, we don't break the law here. I would love to get in there though, because I mean, as y'all can see, it looks pretty sweet. Fully abandoned, I've never seen a video on this place or anything like that. Never seen a video on this place or about this place. And I love being the first one to ever do it. But there's a sign right over there that says private property. This place looks sick, though. Place looks sweet. There's a bunch of stuff still in there, too. It's not like they took out anything. Got a house right here. There was, like, the welcome quarters. Everything's still in there. But I've seen that sign up there. Even though this gate is wide open, that sign is going to keep me from going inside. Unless somebody came by and said, hey, it's okay. I just came around on the road and saw this one. Uh, it said danger high voltage. I don't know what. I mean, it's because of the cable wires right there. Unless they're running power through this. But it also says no trespassing authorized personnel. Um, some kind of authority. But I don't know what that building is, everybody. It's a creepy building. And just kind of taken over by the woods but uh yeah i have no clue what it is i want to get in there so if anybody knows anybody in the bakloos south carolina area you can get me in touch with them i appreciate it you also check this place out massive abandoned hotel apartments hotel i just know it was here it used to be called something uh it was uh, it was very 
It was very famous. I know that. <laughs> I just don't know the name. I'm sorry. I have to look it up. This is something, something. I have no clue. But it's pretty massive. And it's one of those places I'd love to be able to get into one day. I've done some uh, paranormal stuff outside of the place. Well, I've never been in it. Probably looks even cooler from the, it does, it looks even cooler on the backside too. Yeah, so as I was walking towards me, I was just totally condemned, do not enter. So there's a difference between being like, no trespassing and it just being condemned. No, it's a pretty cool place though. Pretty cool place. So everybody just kind of out here exploring got the bike and all that stuff and kind of just seen some places and uh yeah this one there's like a bunch of just abandoned houses right here so uh, yeah get that light for me abandoned house there's spider webs all over the place though grass is up little trail back here Pretty much boarded up, but it's an old abandoned house. Probably creepy looking on the inside. No, no, that window's still intact. It looked like it was blown out. It's not so intact. All right, on to the next one. So I was literally right next door. Thought I heard a snake. And you know, right here next door, and you got this one right here. This is more of a brick house. Um, got a fence back there. No telling whose fence that is. Just goes deep. Um, can't really get over there to the house. I mean, you can, but there's spider webs everywhere. There's a big old spider web right there. Probably could walk around just to check it out. I mean, it's for sale. I don't know who's gonna buy this house though. This is like snake territory right here, everybody. <sighs> Guarantee it's locked. There's no way this thing's open yet. Who would buy this house? I don't know if you want like a fixer up or something. Possibly. Well. All right, everybody, I'm doing it. Just a bunch of dense woods. A door. You know I heard a plane. Those people are just sitting there. They ain't going nowhere. And then there's an old rickety fence right here. A rickety old lumber fence. Opens up to another abandoned house. A lot of wood cut down back there. Another abandoned house. Another abandoned house. I'm not walking in that. That's all snake stuff. Plus, the house is boarded up. Can't really go in it. But just to show you. Yeah, I don't know why these houses over here are abandoned. Maybe it's the highway. 
They're old. Owners could have passed away. I have no clue. But they're all pretty much abandoned over here. Well, not all of them because there's some decent houses down that way. But, yeah, it's all abandoned. Creepy. I believe this place right here is abandoned. I'm 100% sure this is an abandoned house. This is like an abandoned mansion, though. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. I don't know if somebody lives here or not. They could, though. I don't know. I don't think anybody lives here. But I could be extremely wrong, too. I am, to be honest with you, I, uh, like I...